Hello, my name is Jeanette and we are going sourcing for Amazon Retail Arbitrage. Last week I found over a thousand dollars in profit in only seven hours. Blew my mind. Best week ever. I'll link that video wherever. This week I'm nervous. I'm afraid I'm not gonna do as well as I did last week. So I'm feeling a little self-doubt. Do you guys ever feel that when you go outsourcing, you start to get nervous? Like, am I gonna find anything? How much am I gonna find? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, oh, thank you so much. I got a comment from Naya. She said, awesome video. Keep them coming, please. Naya, wherever you are, girl, thank you. You made my day. So got a question from Dennis. He asked me, where do I find my leads? I am a member of Nikki Kirk's Bolo group. Actually, Nikki Kirk is the reason I am here right now. I did her beginning seller course. I've purchased two of her ungating guides. I've purchased her Q4 guide and I'm in her Bolo group. That's where I get my leads list from is from that group. I'm a huge fan and supporter of Nikki Kirk. Definitely check out her channel. I'm sure you guys have already heard of her. And if not, definitely go check out her channel. She's a wealth of knowledge. Thanks for the question, Dennis. It's 7.30, I'm at Walmart. I usually never start with Walmart, but I really prefer going here when no one's here. It is Halloween weekend and I heard Halloween weekend is like the best time to shop. So we'll see if that's true. Cause I feel like last weekend was my best weekend to shop and I'm hoping this weekend will be awesome too. So let's go check out what Walmart's got. Ah, all the carts. found these key lime pie pies on clearance for five dollars unfortunately they expired last month so sad story checked all the flavors and they're all expired i'm about to check out the clearance aisle next haven't been here since last week so let's see what's going on No luck in the clearance, but I do want to check out some of this Christmas stuff. How funny are these? I need one of these to ride along with me and be my friend. Not gonna lie, feeling a little overwhelmed. This is my first uh, Christmas selling on Amazon. So, I definitely don't know what to do. Just checking out the toys and my cart is still empty, you guys. Looks like they've already cleared out the Halloween stuff and starting to put the Christmas stuff out. Okay, so I just spent the last two hours in Walmart and you know what I got? Nothing. Well, I take that back. I did get this um, Stay Puff Marshmallow because my Jeep's name is Stay Puff. I'll show you. There it is. Yeah, this is my little Stay Puff. So this is a Collect All Six Stay Puff. I'm really excited for the new Ghostbusters movie that's coming out next month. It looks awesome. Um, ooh. Yeah, the toy is in this goop, like this marshmallow goop and we're gonna have to do this later. And you can't even eat it. <laughs> okay, Home Goods is next door. I haven't been there in a while because I didn't go there last week because my phone was dying. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in there and see if I can find anything because Walmart was a bust for me today. I was in my bolo group looking for Walmart leads and I found a few, but then I couldn't find the item or if I did find the item, the price was way different than what was shown in the bolo group. Oh my gosh. Got it, got my bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, the weather is gorgeous. So this makes a good profit, but the box is pretty much Correct. I don't know whether to get this or not. I'm gonna look around and see if they had any see if they have any that aren't squished. 
Holy cow, you guys. It is 11 o'clock already. And I think I bought five things so far today. In Home Goods, I wound up finding some holiday waffle makers and some syrup. I really wanted to get that toy, but the box was just so messed up. Would you guys have gotten that toy and sent it in? It was over $20 profit, but the box was ugly. You should check your home goods and see if that toy is available at your home goods. Maybe it'll be available and the box won't be messed up. I don't feel like I'm having much luck today, but I'm not giving up. I'm about to head to my favorite place, which is Big Lots, which is where I got all my good stuff last weekend. So I'm hoping maybe my luck will turn around. Oh, and I have another 20% off coupon in my other account so I can get another 20% off my entire purchase. If you don't know what I'm talking about, at Big Lots, they have a reward program and they email you coupons every month. And what I have done is I've set up a couple of different accounts so that when I run out of coupons with one email account, I use the coupons in the other email account. I have two email accounts right now, but I'll probably make another one. So I'll have one for each week I go. Made it to Big Lots, as you can see. Let's go inside and see if they have any new stuff different than last week. And if I can turn my day around, because so far I've only found five things and it's 11. Just got out of Big Lots, had much better luck in there. I wound up spending about $220 and my coupon saved me $56. So that was cool. I got a lot of Christmas stuff, holiday type stuff, food, baking. It is now 1230 and my battery is pretty much dead. So I'm going to go home, drop this stuff off, charge my phone, eat food, and then make another trip out. Oh, and hopefully I'll open this. I want to know which marshmallow I got. I just made it to grocery outlet. I ate my lunch. Oh, I found out which state puff I got. That's him. He's rocking a pencil. I will say that goop that I had to dig him out of was awful. Do not recommend that. I'll probably not buy one of these again. Yeah, uh, I ate lunch. I dropped off my stuff. I got my stay puff. Now I'm back at it. It is 2:27, and I'm at grocery outlet. I'm gonna get some more soup and check out and see if they have anything new. Wish me luck. Guys, uh, I think grocery outlet got all new carts. I just finished up in grocery outlet. They didn't have any more of the soup that I've been replenishing, so that's a bummer. I did find some cat treats that weren't expired or expiring soon, so I got those. I also found some protein bars that sell for pretty good money, so I got those. And then I bought two packs of coffee that I'm gonna try to FBM. They have a really good ranking and they make good money, so I'm gonna try two, and if it works out, I'll go back to the grocery outlet and get more because they have a ton of them here. It could be like a, a new replen to replace my soup replen. Except for this one, I'll have to FBM because it expires at the end of December. So it's not really enough time to send it an FBA. As per usual, I don't know where I want to go next. Do you guys make like a list of exactly where you're going to go and what you're looking for? Or do you just wing it like I do? Like I somewhat have a list and I somewhat prepared but I mostly wing it. What do you guys do? I guess I'm gonna go to Marshall's next. I haven't been to Marshall's or Ross. They're right next to each other. So let's just go check out that. Okay I'm at Marshall's. Reseller mom. She gave some really good tips. She said when you have stuff in your car and you're out shopping make sure you cover up your stuff. So I'm gonna take my jacket that I'm not wearing anymore and cover up my goods. Not like anyone wants cat treats you never know okay yeah make sure you lock your car and cover your goodies because you know I really I'm pretty sure crime rates go up during the holiday seasons unfortunately people know that there's lots of goodies in cars and while you're out shopping they take advantage of that and steal stuff out of people's cars so it's just like a precaution that was shared with me and then I just want to pass it along and share it with you back at Marshall's let's see if we can find any fresh stuff. Oh my gosh, how cute. I 
I just left Marshalls and I did find a few things. I found some glassware, some toys, some chocolate. So that was cool. I kind of want to pop into Ross, but I want to see if there's anything new. So let's go to Ross real quick. By the way, it's 4.45. Okay, I just got to Ross. Winco is right next door, which is a grocery store here in California, but you cannot use a credit card. You have to use debit or cash. So that's really the only reason why I don't shop there. It's starting to get chilly out. Pretty much just heading straight for the toys and Christmas stuff. I just left Ross and I didn't get anything there. I scanned a bunch of toys. Um, they did have some new toys, so if you haven't checked out Ross lately, check them out because they're getting new toys, it seems, every week. And didn't find anything. I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's five o'clock. I think I've been shopping for nine hours with a break in between. Crazy. Oh, and I did try to do some online arbitrage while I was at lunch, but nothing really panned out. I don't think I did as well as I did last weekend, but I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna pack it all up, add it all up, and I'll let you know how much I'm expected to profit from this week's trip. All right, here I am. I wound up with five boxes. I've already got them all dropped off and my numbers are in. I did not do as well as I did last week, but that is okay because I learned so much this week. And as we all know, knowledge is power. Now let's talk about profit. Everything in these boxes should sell for about $1,496.02. It cost me $725.81. And that'll be a profit of $770.21 for the week. And with this, I went shopping for nine hours and I probably took another four hours to pack for a total of 13 hours of my time. If you are feeling discouraged, I just wanted to let you know, hang in there. It gets better. Keep swimming. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.